Here's a quick run through of the 16 ounce clear soda can mock-up. Let's get rid of this black layer first. This is just there to save space in the, the file sizes. So you can either click the layer visibility icon there or you can drag the whole layer into the bin. The first step you need to take is to double click this smart object. This layer here, select that and then say it, where it says step one, double click to edit smart object. So double click. And step two, make sure this, by the way, is invisible. It's not it's not visible with the uh, unchecked either because it will clash with the animation if you leave it on. So double click that. Then place your design in there. I don't think I've got one ready. I'm just going to make one on the fly here. And then get rid of mine. Now, obviously, this will go right to the top of the glass, and that's in the curved part of the glass. So you might not want that. So just be aware that if your design is only going to is intended to come further down, just shrink it into place. But roughly, you this should match the size of the template you were using. But you might need to fine tune and move things around. So be sure to hit that tick. Say yes here. And then close this. Say yes. And now we go to window. Make sure you've got timeline open. And you can press play. What the uh, what Photoshop's doing now is building the uh, animation for you. It could take a while on a slow machine. Let's pause that, and I'll uh, come back to you when it's finished. Okay, here we are. It's nearly finished now in Photoshop. And then once it's it's built the animation, it will smoothly play the animation. Let's zoom out a bit. Now here's what I was saying about getting your design a bit further down. Here it's gone into the curve just slightly. Stop the animation. So I might want to bring my design down a bit. So double click here to get into that and then just drag it right down. Close and make sure to say yes. Close. Say yes. And there you go, it's a bit lower down. When when you're happy with its positioning and you're ready to make the video, you go to this icon here, click that, and it says render video. Then you'll get this pop-up with various options. I'm gonna go with the default. Choose where you wanna somewhere on your hard drive you want to save it and click render now again depending on the speed of your PC or device it could take a while I'll pause it while it does its thing okay Photoshop's nearly finished once that's done you then find uh, the folder where you saved it okay this is where I saved it so I'll double click it now let's just resize that so you can see should should loop seamlessly there might be a little stutter at the end where the 
player has to reset but it is a seamless loop so there you go I think that's everything <laughs>